no question the San Jose Sabercats have one of the great pregame shows in all of sports. You want fireworks? Oh, we got fireworks for you right here on Sabercats Weekly. Fans have come to expect the excitement, the fireworks, the fire that we do in the, in the pre-show entry. It's a five or six hour setup for us to be ready to go. We like to keep it fresh, so every game we try to throw in something new so the fans don't know quite what's coming every single game. But we've got things called mines, things called comets, we've got large propane accumulators. We do a thing called a Coliseum pot, which is a real big explosion flash. There's a lot of wow factor to it, and we, we throw them in at different times during the entry so no one quite knows when it's going to happen. The Fire Dragons are probably our most uh, favorite item here at the SAP Center. They make a lot of heat, they put out a lot of fire, they make a lot of noise, and everybody can feel them in the entire arena. If we black out the arena, you can read a newspaper in here when we, when we turn them all on at once. Uh, they take about three hours to get all prepped and built and loaded and safety checked and ready to go. Every time we push the button, we're putting about a quart of liquid propane up in the air. Now we're using four of these for the intro for the Sabercats each night. Uh, it, it looks incredibly dangerous and you kind of wonder how it is we can run these indoors, but they are extremely, extremely safe. When I energize it, it'll do a quick safety check. It'll bring, it to, it'll bring its own pilot light on. If for any reason there's a leak or we lose ignition, instantly it turns itself off and, and puts itself into a safe mode. We've got a remote panel that controls this whole thing that allows us to make little fire, big fire, lots of fire at one time, and burn up plenty of propane and excite the audience. Exciting an audience through carefully orchestrated pyrotechnics is challenging in any situation. The Sabercats pregame show is particularly difficult because it's a live show. During the pregame show, we have a number of cues where we either hit the fire or some of the pyrotechnic effects. Those are all based on what's happening on the field at the time. Since it's a live performance, we don't time it. What we do is we're actually watching. So when the biker points to a certain thing, we may hit, a, and hit an effect. Or when the saber kittens are doing a certain part of their routine, we'll hit a certain effect that, that coincides with what they're doing. As the team's coming out, we're, we're bringing pyro up to, to introduce the team. So everything is done to work together with what's going on uh, on the field at that given time. Being close to the field and the action is something which makes indoor football special, but having an audience that close to the field means they are also close to any pyrotechnic display. Pyrotechnics indoors is different than outdoors. Outdoors we can go a half mile away from the audience and have just lots of room for error and safety margins. On an indoor environment, we're in a much more tight situation where we're using very, very precision tools, extremely precision pyrotechnics. We're allowed to run them closer to the audience because we know exactly within one or two feet of where that pyrotechnic is gonna, gonna, gonna work when, when we hit it off. So we know those performances in advance and, and we can design them so that even though they look dangerous and exciting, they're all entirely very, very safe. Sabercats pride themselves on being exciting and loud in, in, in the Indoor Arena Football League. And we like to, to contribute to that. We put a tremendous amount of energy into keeping the excitement up and making the noise. We, we fire concussions before the game and during the game. Every time there's a, a touchdown, we, we fire off another explosion. Um, anything we can do to keep the excitement and, and the noise level going uh, here at the SAP Center is, is what we're all about. 